Hey, beautiful people. So yesterday, Megan McCain went on her live stream on Instagram and I missed to record a juicy part because she said that she wants to write a Daily Mail article on Whoopi's comments, but she wants to move on from the show. So she's not really sure if she's going to write the article or not, but I caught some of what she said on video and I recorded it for y'all to watch it. Your boy got you. Your boy, I got you. You see? Welcome to JLW. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know to upload. Please follow me on Instagram, JOA underscore media. A lot of y'all got private accounts, so I respect your privacy. So I don't know if you want me to follow back or not. I'm not one of those people that I don't follow back. Just let me know in the messages if you want me to follow back or not. All right, give me a thumbs up because you can't see the dislike button. Happy Black History Month, by the way, as I said before. Um, let's watch this together and I'll come back with some more. Just to feel supported again, just to feel that we love, we love you. Anti-Semitism is a cancer and a poison in our culture. And it's growing and it's very scary. And it's very scary for everyone who's paying any attention, but that I'm still very hopeful for the future and very hopeful for a better America. And I think these can be teachable moments. I think we can have teachable moments. I'm not a cancel culture person, and I think that we can, you know, hopefully guide people in the right direction in the way that so many people um, have learned to grow and change in different ways. And again, I just felt really compelled before I take my makeup off. I was out to dinner at a Chinese restaurant celebrating Chinese New Year with my girlfriend. Um, but I, before I went to bed, my I've just my phone really has been going off and. Uh, Activism against the poison that is anti-Semitism has become a big part of my life. And it just happened organically. And I've met the most incredible community of people that have just really brought so much joy and light into my life. And I just, again, um, oh, someone's given me creative... So I do agree. Anti-Semitism is a cancer. It's a poison. I, I definitely agree. I don't think Whoopi is fully there in terms of um i don't know it just seems like she's still hesitant because it's like you went on stephen colbert and you said what you said yesterday and then you sent out an apology and so you tell me within 24 hours i don't know that's not my call but what i do want to say is i just wish this whole outrage on what would be said is applied to everybody because you know everybody should feel at home everybody should feel at home like me as an arabian Growing up, I never felt represented by the American flag. What Colin Kaepernick was doing is what uh, people that I know been doing. Like I knew one person that's Palestinian used to sit down during the Pledge of Allegiance. I personally used to never even put my hand over my heart sometimes because I just don't feel a part of the movement of, of where I was born. I just don't feel I just never did. And I still don't. I don't feel I never felt a part of a party politically, Democrat or Republican. I just never felt like I belonged. And I just wish we had that same energy to people who are black, who are Middle Eastern, who um, are Asian, so on and so forth. Uh, and, and that can also be addressed by the media and it can also go viral. So, you know, because I don't believe in cancer culture. This this is a teachable moment. Like I said, with the whole Sharon Osbourne situation, that could have been a teachable moment as well. Although I don't believe it was about Reese because it wasn't. I mean, come on now. But um, yeah, man, it's just like, just respect one another. I'm not about to create this divisiveness. I get people in my comments saying, why are you um, protecting? Why are you defending them with how they do, how they, how your people are treated over there? Well, that's the government. And yes, that's, that's, there are people out there that may not like me that's Jewish, but that's, that's not my problem. That's their problem. Right. Um, and I've been through that before, by the way. Uh, but anyways, I'm looking forward to that article Megan McCain post, but I, I got that video up before she posted that article now. All right. She ain't posted it yet. So anyways, let me know. Sing in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. So you'll be the first to know and upload. Deuces. Yeah, yeah.